Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, we are going to learn type 1 cylinder. So we are going to focus on cylinder and we are going to focus on the right circular cylinder. Now, remember, uh, you need one basic formula from uh, your grade 12 and that is projection of a line segment on another line. So look at this, I took two points on line 1 and I want to find the length of the shadow. I think you can see the length of the shadow here, I marked it over here. Okay, and that length is given by L times X2 minus X1 plus M times Y2 minus Y1 plus N times Z2 minus Z1. Here, it is compulsory that we need direction cosines. And for those students who do not know about direction cosines, I um, will put it very short. If the direction ratios A, B, C are given, then direction cosines are denoted by L, M, N. And they are given by dividing this A, B, C throughout by root under A square plus B square plus C square. You divide throughout by root under a square plus b square plus c square. Direction ratios will change into direction cosines. One last time, note this formula. This will give you the length of the shadow of AB on the second line. So look at this. Um, you have to imagine that a cylinder is made by a guiding curve. Now, if you want to imagine a guiding curve, you can imagine a circle or an ellipse or a parabola or any conic section. And the second thing you want is an axis. Axis basically will be a line passing through its center of gravity. A line passing through its center of gravity. And now, you just imagine what will happen if I draw lines parallel to the axis and touching the guiding curve? So once more, let me make it and uh, let me try to make it more clear. You consider any standard conic section, and for imagination's sake, you can take a circle or an ellipse. Now find the center of gravity or the center and draw a line through the center and that line will be called the axis of the cylinder. Now I want you to draw all lines parallel to the axis but touching the guiding curve that is the ellipse. Just imagine if you keep on drawing, if you keep on drawing all such lines, don't you think you will get the cylinder? See? Remember the name of those lines, the line parallel to the axis and passing through the guiding curve is called generating line. Now remember, there will be infinite number of generating lines and all the lines will be parallel to the axis and touching the uh, guiding curve. Okay, so basically this is what you have to know. Um, now, let's look at type 1. Now let's look at type 1. So look at the requirements. We need a point on the axis. Direction cosines of the axis. This is very important. Not the direction ratios. Direction cosines of the axis. And of course the radius of the guiding circle. Because I told you we are focusing only on right circular cylinder for the time being. So basically the guiding curve will be a circle. And the radius of that circle will be given or we can extract it. And are you able to see the axis passing through the center of the circle? Yeah, this is the axis. Now what we do is we collect all the lines parallel to the axis but touching the guiding curve. And that is how a cylinder will be formed. Okay, anyway, let's look at this picture. Uh, now look at this. In examination... If they ask such a question, so in the question what all things should be given? A point on the axis, 
direction cosines of the axis and radius of the guiding circle okay so the first thing you have to do is you have to draw this picture don't don't make any compromise whatever you see in the board right now whatever you see in your screen right now take a print screen or write it very neatly and um, what you call this is exactly what you are going to draw whenever they ask a question related to um, what you call the above given quantities um, I hope you remember equation means a relation followed by every point in a system for example when we discuss about the line equation means you are getting access to every point on the line when you talk about a plane it means you are getting access to every point on the plane and similarly in a cylinder writing the equation means you are getting access to every point on the cylinder now just now I told you the cylinder is made up of many 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 generating lines so on the generating line or on the cylinder I am taking a random point x y z of course my locus point and a means the given point and m is like what you call I have drawn directly uh, what you call made it perpendicular to the axis and touching p so that this will become the radius and I am sure that you are able to see the right angle triangle APM so immediately to find the equation I use the relation AP square equal to PM square plus AM square so uh, to find AP we can use distance formula to find PM oh PM is the radius and to find AM this is very important look at this are you able to understand AM this part the one I am making green right now is the shadow of AP on the axis is the projection of AP on the axis okay please write one question find the equation of a right circular cylinder so what are you going to find the equation of a right circular cylinder now the specialties are given one by one since it is right circular you can understand the guiding curve will be a circle so the radius is given to be two units and axis is given by the equation x minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to y divided by 3 is equal to z minus 3 divided by 1 so look at this the radius is given and axis is given so what did I tell you earlier whenever they ask such a question the first thing to do is draw that picture and now we need the axis and the guiding curve is of course a circle in this case and here I am going to mark let P X Y Z be the locus point the generating point and A means any point on the axis look at this the equation of a line is given right so by inspection itself you can find one point on the line so tell me one point on the line by looking at the numerators 1 0 3 now look at this if you did not understand what I told just now it means you did not watch lesson number 2 so in case you didn't watch lesson number 2 where we talk about lines and its equation pause the video right now and go back and watch it for a few minutes okay anyway just by inspection I know that 1 0 3 is a point on the axis okay here we go and the radius is given to be 2 I'm going to mark this point as M 2 now wait a minute by looking at the denominators I know that the direction ratios of the axis is 2 3 1 so what are the direction ratios of the axis 2 comma 3 comma 1 so that I can find the direction cosines do you remember I told you initially how to find the direction cosine divide throughout by root under 2 square plus 3 square plus 1 square the modulus so 2 by root under 14 because 
9 plus 1 10 10 plus 4 14 3 by root 14 1 by root 14 okay now we are ready we are ready so come on write the relation Pythagoras theorem AP square equal to AM square plus PM square now look at this AP square can be found by do you still have the screenshot this is very important I told you use distance formula the radius and use the formula for projection x minus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 0 the whole square plus z minus 3 the whole square is equal to this is 2 squared right 4 plus let's make a big whole square look at this pm means pm means i'm going to color it with black now can you see oh uh, pm is uh, like what you call 4 now we are, i need am okay so look at this am means the projection of ap please correct it uh, pm is the radius and am is can you see the projection of ap the projection of ap on the axis and what is the formula for projection you can rewind the video and check it l times x minus 1 you can look at the formula plus m times y minus y1 plus 1 by root 14 into z minus 3 that's it this is the equation now it's completely up to you your your solving skill anyway i'll do two steps and then you try it yourself and comment below whether you got the answer or not and if you can please um, type the answer also it will be useful for other students anyway i'll simplify this a little bit with you so we get x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus z squared minus 6z plus 9 and this 4 goes to the left side minus 4 is equal to can you see this 1 by root 14 is common and it will get squared so we get 1 by 14 times open the bracket 2x minus 2 plus 3y plus z minus 3 the whole square okay it looks like a mess but I'll just copy this okay so you can see that this part becomes 2x plus 3y plus z minus 5 the whole square okay the reason I was uh, doing a few steps is to talk about this are you able to see a plus b the whole squared or not I colored it in uh, colored it like that so that you can identify so in the next step we get x square plus y square plus z square of course 14 will be here this 14 and minus 2x minus 6 z 10 10 minus 4 plus 6 is equal to okay expand it a plus b the whole square so a square plus b squared plus 2 into a b okay now i'm not going to make the video lengthy uh, like what you call you can simplify i think it's in your control you can simplify and if you get the answer please do comment below whether you got it or not okay now i'll give you one homework question also so that you become perfect look at this if you really want to score uh, good marks in mathematics practice is very very important by just watching this video you won't get marks you may get a clear idea how to work out the problem but that won't help if you want to score marks you have to take a paper and work out a lot of problems okay anyway i'll give you one homework so the homework goes like this find the equation of a right circular cylinder find the equation of a right circular cylinder with so it is mentioned the right circular so the guiding curve will be a circle and the radius is given here two units and the axis passes through one two three and the axis has direction ratios so you need to convert it 2 minus 3 6 okay give it a try right now draw the picture and use Pythagoras theorem 
so try this question and i'll be back with another video and we will discuss one very important question in cylinder in that video